Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Importing photos into your catalog using Lightroom Classic CC, you can use the file handling panel at the right side of the import window to set a variety of import options. Because Lightroom Classic CC can automate several common importing actions, setting import options before importing photos can save you time. To access the file handling panel, open the import window. You can back up photos during the import process using the file handling panel. If you're moving or copying files into your Lightroom Classic CC catalog, you can create a backup copy of the original photo files. To do this, check the Make a Second Copy to checkbox located within the file handling panel. Notice that a save location appears below the checkbox. You can accept this save location or you can use the drop down menu to the right of the checkbox and select the Choose Folder option. This launches the Choose Folder dialog box, which you can use to select a different save location for the backup files. It's worth mentioning that backing up photos during the import process does not eliminate the need to back up your Lightroom Classic CC catalog. We'll learn more about backing up catalogs in a future lesson. You can set Lightroom Classic CC to ignore duplicate files during an import operation. Lightroom Classic CC will consider a file to be a duplicate of a previously identified file if both files share three traits, the same original file name, the same capture date and time, and the same file size. To instruct Lightroom Classic CC to disregard duplicate files, check the Don't Import Suspected Duplicates checkbox found in the File Handling panel. You can specify initial preview images in Lightroom Classic CC as well. When importing photos, Lightroom immediately displays the photo's embedded preview by default. An embedded preview is created by a camera and is not color managed. Because of this, embedded previews don't match how Lightroom interprets raw camera files. Lightroom Classic CC can also display its own color managed preview images, but it takes longer for the software to generate color managed previews. To specify which type of preview images are shown during importing, choose an option from the Build Previews menu in the File Handling panel. If you choose the minimal option, Lightroom will immediately display the smallest previews embedded within imported photos. If you choose the Embedded and Sidecar option, Lightroom will display the largest possible preview available from the camera data. This option can take longer than a minimal preview, but is still faster than rendering a standard size preview. If you choose the Standard option, standard sized previews will be displayed as they are rendered by Lightroom Classic CC. Standard sized previews use the Adobe RGB color space. If you choose the one to one option, Lightroom will display preview images that are a 100% view of actual pixels. When you select the embedded and sidecar option from the build previews menu, embedded previews are generated. This means that you can scroll through a lot of images quickly in the library module, as well as use the one to one zoom more quickly. Embedded previews are indicated by an icon in the grid view as well as by embedded preview overlay text in the loop view. By default Lightroom Classic CC will retain embedded previews in the library module until you choose to generate other previews. However, you can adjust your Lightroom Classic CC preferences so that embedded previews are replaced by standard previews automatically whenever your system is idle. To set this option and replace embedded previews with standard previews, choose Edit then Preferences from the menu bar. The Preferences dialog box then appears on screen. On the General tab, check the Replace Embedded Previews with Standard Previews During Idle Time checkbox. Then click the OK button in the lower right corner of the Preferences window to save your changes and close the dialog box. The File Handling panel also provides a tool for creating smart previews. Smart preview files are lightweight smaller files that let you edit images that are not physically connected to your computer. Smart previews are useful in situations where original files are stored elsewhere, such as on a high capacity external device. You can edit a smart preview file within Lightroom Classic CC even if the original image is not connected to your computer. Edits made to Smart Preview files are instantly synced with original files as soon as the storage device is reconnected to your computer. We'll learn more about the mechanics of working with Smart Previews later on in this course. The File Handling panel also provides an Add to Collection checkbox to make organizing your photos easier during importing. 
When you click the Add to Collections checkbox, the panel expands to display any existing collections you may have. By default, Lightroom Classic CC provides a quick collection. However, you can add custom collections to this portion of the panel. To create a new custom collection, first check the Add to Collection checkbox. Next, click the Create New Collection button at the right side of the checkbox. The Create Collection dialog box then appears. Type a name for the new collection into the Name text field. If you check the Inside a Collection Set checkbox in the Location section, you can place the new collection within an existing collection. You can also check the Set as Target Collection option to designate the new collection as the default collection. When you're finished, click the Create button to close the dialog box and create the new collection. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.